Kenyan marathon champion Kevin Kiptum was laid to rest in Chepkorio Elgeyo Marakwet County in Kenya on Friday, February 23rd. Mourners including dignitaries and athletes from around the world gathered to pay their respects. However, the absence of Kenya's marathon icon Eliud Kipchoge was notable, sparking speculation about the reasons for his absence. Some wondered whether it was due to an unforeseen circumstance or a deliberate choice. Let's find out. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Eliud and Kiptum shared a history as fellow marathon champions, but rumors of tension between them had circulated for some time. The alleged source of this tension dated back to Kiptum's recent marathon victory, where he broke Kipchoge's world record. Following the race, Kipchoge notably refrained from publicly congratulating Kiptum on his social media pages, leading to heated discussions online. Many speculated that Kipchoge's silence stemmed from jealousy over Kiptum's record-breaking achievement. Months later, Kiptum tragically passed away in a car accident. Kipchoge, upon hearing the news, offered condolences to Kiptum's family on his social media pages. However, some criticized Kipchoge for only acknowledging Kiptum's success in death rather than during his life. These events fueled widespread belief among netizens that Kipchoge harbored animosity towards Kiptum. Some even went as far as to suggest that Kipchoge may have had a hand in Kiptum's untimely demise, although police investigations found no evidence to support such claims thus far. Surprisingly, during Kiptum's funeral proceedings, while fellow athletes stepped forward to honor the fallen champion, Eliud Kipchoge was notably absent, sparking intense speculations online. Some netizens suggested that Kipchoge's absence might hint at an undisclosed knowledge about Kiptum's passing. However, recent revelations on social media reveal the reason why Kipchoge failed to show up at the burial ceremony it is because the ground was already hostile on him. And according to what netizens are speculating is that Kipchoge was warned not to step at the burial ceremony because he might have met a huge opposition from Kiptum's fans who believed that Kipchoge had a hand in Kiptum's death. For instance, this social media user said this concerning Kipchoge's absence in, Kiptum, in Kiptum's burial. Pali TikTok now that the ground was hostile. It was a good call for Eliud Kipchoge not to show up. Watu wanaongea sana. Local intelligence notified him of possible of possible hostility. Msema kweli itakuwa pale Paris Olympics kitaeleweka nani. Therefore this indicates that Kipchoge might have received intelligence that if he dared step in Kiptum's burial ceremony, he would have met a huge opposition from Kiptum's fans. Who believe that Kipchoge never loved him in the first place. Now, despite calls from netizens for an explanation regarding his absence, Eliud Kipchoge has yet to respond, leaving Kenyans awaiting clarifications on his non-attendance. For instance, this Kenyan reacted to Kipchoge's absence at the burial ceremony, saying this. Why is everyone concerned with Eliud Kipchoge attending Kevin Kiptum's burial? Kwani ni lazima. I can just imagine the mental state of Eliud Kipchoge. Another person added saying, Eliud Kipchoge is uh, so clean about the Kevin Kiptum saga. From various sources, they were very close friends. Another person added saying, if I was Eliud Kipchoge, I'd run a race to lose in honor of Kevin Kiptum. That way, I'd set a better history and record of a man who devoted his victory into honoring another man who deserved a world record face off. But Kipchoge won't. He'll move on to seek three Olympics win. Oh, also I'm not Kipchoge. <laughs> That's how Kenyans are reacting to Kipchoge's absence at Kevin Kiptum's burial. 
Kevin Kiptum's widow Asinath Rotich bravely led mourners at the funeral, struggling to contain her emotions as she shared plans she and her late husband had for an upcoming wedding celebration in April. It's unbelievable that today I have learned to, to stay with our beloved kids without you coming home again. I mourn my love. I have cried until no more. I'll miss you. I'll miss you and your love of my life forever until we meet again. But I promise to gather my strength for the sake of our children. I hope in the spirit world you will inspire me to stand as pillar to our children. I promise to make them smile in your honor. I'll make you happy all the time. We have been planning for a big day to tie our notes in colorful wedding ceremony in April 2024. But God plans our creator. Kip Toom's tragic death in a car accident at the age of 24 sent shockwaves through the marathon community. Despite his youth, he had already made a significant impact on the sport, drawing tributes from figures in both athletics and politics. Among those paying their respect were Kenya's President William Ruto and Sebastian Coe, the head of the World Athletics Governing Body. Who are here, na wananchi wa semuhi. Uyu Kelvin ingawaje alizaliwa katika sehemu hii alikuwa amevuka mipaka ya kijiji yake kaunti yake akawa ni mkenya ambaye alitambulika na vile mumeona hata katika kifo yake dunia mzima imeungana kwa sababu ya kijana huyu Kevin and therefore we've come here as friends as family as leaders to condole with the family on the demise of this great Kenyan and a world beater. Um, I got to know about the passing on of Kelvin from CS Ababu. I think it was maybe a few hours after it happened. And it was a really a very heavy moment for us because in Kelvin we saw the future of athletics in Kenya. 